This is how an Adormi gesture based DC motor looks like. After building this project, you will learn about the building blocks of gesture recognition devices, MOSFET biasing, NMOS transistor operation, DC motor operation, IR sensor technology, and many other concepts. Before power on, if the battery is connected, the motor should not run or react to the proximity sensor. This is the DC motor. This is the wheel. This is a 9 volt DC battery. These are the IR sensors. This is the IC. These are the switches. Press the switch. You will see two LEDs glow. The red power on LED and the green LED indicating power is supplied to the controller circuit. Now assuming there is nothing covering the IR sensors, the DC motor wheel should not move. After powering on, the circuit works based on the proximity of an object, your hand, to the IR sensor. Based on the distance of the object, the speed of the wheel will vary. When the object is closer to the sensor, the speed of the motor picks up and when it's further away, it slows down. One can say the motor speed is inversely proportional to the distance of the object to the sensor when in range of 5 cm. If your battery has been used before, you might want to change it before using it again. The battery socket and the PCB must be connected tightly. Make sure you place the battery in the right polarity in the battery socket. Most of the problems lie in faulty soldering. Check all the solder joints. If you find a short track or the solder joint damage, resolder at that point and check the other soldering joints. Check the position of all the components on the PCB. Look for missing components or components in the wrong position. Make sure that all polarized components have been placed in the right direction. If you are new to soldering, we highly recommend you watch the soldering video and instructions provided in the CD which came with the kit. Make sure the IC is securely mounted and in the right direction. If the motor is stuck, or not working, try pressing the reset button to force the microcontroller to reset. Make sure the sensors do not have cracks or seem to be physically damaged.